<laughs> Hello, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Yub Plays. Today, we're checking out an RPG Maker horror title called It Moves. I don't know anything about it, but I do know that we're going to play it starting right now. Bedtime. Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. While some children might complain about being put to bed before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game, when I was a child, nighttime was something to truly fear. Somewhere in the back of my mind, it still is. Hey, buddy. This is me. Okay, my lamp's on the floor. This guy can't afford a table. It's a wolf. Good job, you can read. Mr. Teddy, Freddy Fazbear, there he is. Full of toys and stuff. That's a scary looking poster. Oh, you can load or quit? No, hold on, don't- stop. I don't want to quit the game. I don't want to- What am I doing? I'm breaking- the, I've been in here for four seconds, I broke the game. That's a giant bed for a little boy. It's a bunk bed. I sleep in the top. I understand. Here's a table. That we're not allowed to- Wait, this button? Apparently this button I'm pushing loads the game. Poster from a movie. I got it from my brother. Ah. <laughs> okay, I don't understand what's going on. Why can I- stop! Why can my buttons always load? I cannot prove what happened to me was objectively real, but I can swear that what I experienced was genuine horror. A fear which in my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equaled. I will relate it to you all now as best I can. Make of it what you will. But I'll be glad to just get it off my chest. Push this vase over. Flowers, mom put these here. Your mom sucks. What's up, dad? This is my father. That's it? What about these shoes over- Stop trying to load a game! What is wrong with my controls? I can't remember exactly when it started, but my apprehension towards falling asleep seemed to correspond with my being moved into a room of my own. Hey, Mom. Why- This is my mother. Something stupid is going on with the controls. Hold on. Whoa, I got a sprint button! I'm freaking tearing my mom's room up! So what's my talk button? Ugh, this controller has my freaking game so confusing right now. How do you like your new room? Soon you'll be sleeping alone for the first time. Nope, no I won't. How much you want to bet I won't be doing that? Shut up, Mom, you say the same thing. Who is this? A man with a mustache. Just a bunch of clothes in here, no monsters. Uh, ventilation, I think Mom said this is. Can I look at everything? Mom told me not to touch her stuff, or she'll punch me in the freaking face. Okay, bye. Whoa. Hey, Dad, again. Don't go pulling out too much stuff now, it's bedtime soon. Uh, nope, run. Bye. You can't make me go to bed. This is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of the room that we both had shared until then. What? I was eight years old at the time, and until then, I had shared a room quite happily with my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own, and as a result, I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk beds, which we used to share. While I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the top bunk, which seemed far more adventurous to me, because I'm a freaking idiot. My dad won't let me out of the house. What's this way, dad? Ugh, do I have to go to bed? Looks like it. Ugh. The frick? Oh god, <laughs> my mom kinda scared me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is too early for this stuff. Alright, it's bedtime. Already? Yes, adults need their sleep, you see. You'll be sleeping alone for the first time. I hope nothing bad happens to you. You excited? Yes, Mom. You idiot woman who raised me. Top bunk party! Alright, I'm turning off the lights. Good night, don't get murdered! Good night. Ugh, I hate this already. Oh, look. I can move? Can I hop out the bed? No. Ah! Uh... Chapter 1. Okay. Alright, I didn't need the Hotline Miami font to tell me what was going on, I guess. Huh? 
Wait, am I that little monster person? So I guess we gotta play through this kid's dreams. Yes, save the game. Oh, I'm not the monster. Oh, I don't like that monster, though. Let's just go over here. This is my dream, and I say- I can't sprint. What is this on the floor? Nothing. Here's some water. A small water hole. The water is dirty. Probably not a good idea to drink it. Drink it. Whatever you say, game. Hey, monster. How's it- Oh, you're in the tree. I can't even talk to you. It was a trick. Ha! <laughs> These tricky games. Hey, there's a little guy on top of the house over there. He looks very pleasant and... Like, he's just fine. Nothing bad is gonna happen to me. Here we go. I'm in the cabin in the woods. Oh, a skull door. Hmm, good sign. A pot and some ragged cloth. Smoke it. Smoke weed every day. I wonder what's cooking. Probably little boys who are dreaming. Oh, look at this guy. Ugh! Stalking is such a strong word. I prefer to think of it more as intense research on one individual. I don't like you already. Ugh. By the way, your missing sock is under your bed. With me! Just kidding. Oh, this is... Extremely creepy. A cold, unwelcoming breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. Go down there! What's the worst that could happen to me? What is this right here? Weird mushroom. Looks poisonous. Eat it. What is that? On the wall. Did you see it? I freaking saw it. I'm not stupid. What was that? Why was there a noise behind me? That guy is gone. I'm going back down there. I have a feeling I'm playing this game wrong. Hello? Hello? Weird mushroom. What about this pit? I can't see the bottom. Okay. I still can't sprint, so that means something is gonna happen. What is this? A purple mushroom. Definitely poisonous. Ah! What the frick? Do you see that? I saw a thing. Hello? There is red liquid seep- <laughs> What country am I from? There is red liquid seeping out from the mushroom hat. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. All right. Stupid cave adventures. Oh, there's that guy. Ah! The frick? That was that guy who was freaking looking in the window earlier. Am I gonna die for going down this dead end? No. But it still won't let me- Ah! Oh my god, I hate this thing. Stop trying to load the game all the time. Just let me play. Huh, I wonder if this stuff's gonna fall. Ah! Oh, I can- I can push buttons. Oh, there is- these are all buttons. Here we go. Ah, it's doing the rock fingers. Look at that. Alright, we'll obviously just push this one now and... I'm making this worse, aren't I? It's so dark that I can't freaking see what I'm pushing. Oh, there we go, I did it! Crossing the rock bridge. Rocking out on the rock bridge. Where's this little mouse guy? Where'd he go? Mickey Mouse, I think it was. Can't go that way. Ugh. Oh. Hello? Yeah, go, uh, keep going this way, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there he was! He just vanished into thin air. Let me have my sprint button back. How come I can only sprint in real life, not dreams? That's stupid. Did I come all this way just to freaking die? Oh no! Why don't I have a sprint button? Here he is, he's gonna get me. Oh! Uh, go, kid! You suck! You suck, kid! The kid sucks. That kid sucks. Game over. Thanks for playing. Mom! I had a bad dream! Mom! Watch me still be dreaming. Um... It's locked, stupid bruh! <laughs> Where's my mom's room in here? My mom and my dad. Mom! 
Mom, I had a bad dream. Sweetie, what's wrong? I had a bad dream. Oh, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute. We can eat breakfast together. All right, hurry up. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. Hold on, let me wake up my Harry Potter looking dad real quick. Okay, dad ain't waking up. No way, no how. I have a bad feeling that this is still a dream. What is this picture on the wall? It looks scary. Picture of a man standing around. I think it's dad. When he, oh, it looked like a... The grudge girl. Go change your clothes. Wow, that was fast. He's good at that. And so, another day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. I won't bother you with the details. The one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow still felt lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night. It was time to go to sleep again. That sucks. Uh, hey mom, there's a giant green arrow floating above my bed. Is that bad? Did you guys install that for- Wow, he's so good at changing clothes real fast. Tossing and turning until I fall asleep. Yeah. Oh, he went to sleep. I saw him.